let me know if you can see and hear me. I see Amanda and Aja. Hey, ladies, nice to see faces or I guess names that I recognized. Hey, Karen, sorry for any confusion. There was someone else that was going live on this account before me, so I couldn't quite get started, but let me know if you can all see and hear me. Hey, Victoria. It is so nice to see some familiar faces. Amanda, did I break it? No, you didn't break it. Oh, goodness. Hopefully, waiting for some confirmation that, okay, I'm seeing a hey. Hey, ladies, so good to see you here. I'm so excited. You guys are going to love everything I have for you today. This is going to be awesome. Hey, Leanne. So, okay, I want you guys to start by, if you haven't yet, let me know your name where you're from, what your website is, what you specialize in, what you do. Hey, Alyssa, oh my gosh. So nice to see so many people that I know. This is gonna be way, way, way fun. Hey, I see. Awesome. Kelly, you might wanna try refreshing if you can hear me at least. Awesome, this is gonna be great. Let me know a little bit about you, your website, what you do, what you specialize in as design, all that good stuff. I am going to check to make sure everything is working here. I think it is though. So quick intro to myself before we get too far. Um, I'm Krista from KristaRay.co. In case you don't know me, I am a WordPress developer. I also do design strategy with designers. Um, I went on a crazy big journey last year going from booking a couple of days in advance to now being booked out three months in advance. So we're gonna talk about that today as well as the steps you can take to do the same thing. So I hope everyone can see and hear me. I feel like I'm still seeing a little confusion in the chat. Hopefully everything is good to go. Rose from Maryland. Website's an inspiration for mature women starting a business. Awesome. Appleton, did I, Kelly, do I know you're from Appleton? I live in Eau Claire, so we are, well, it's, it's a drive, but Wisconsinites unite. So while I'm waiting again for confirmation that this is all going well, I wanna give you a quick rundown of what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about some myths you're believing about booking out your design business that are keeping you from taking the next step with your business. We're gonna talk about the hustle cycle, what it probably looks like for you now and what it should and can look like once you're booked out and have the right frameworks in place. We are then gonna talk about that six step framework. I am so excited to tell you guys about this. This is exactly what I use to go from being booked out a couple of days in advance to several months in advance. And at the end, I have a super secret offer for you guys. Only people on the webinar are gonna hear this. And then we'll also do a Q&A. So as you have questions as we're going through everything, let me let me know and I will come back to your questions after we're all done and go through everything just so it doesn't take forever to get through all the content um, if I stop and answer your questions. So I want to look in here, see where every, what everybody has to say. Go Badgers. My husband is an Ohio State fan, so I'm not allowed to like the Badgers. Amanda Strong, Cheddar Jalapeno Cheetos. That sounds delicious. Aja from Atlanta. WordPress websites for newbie entrepreneurs. Awesome, took a close look at your website last week. Awesome, so glad you're all here. So I want to start by kind of getting an idea of where you guys are. So I want you to type in the chat box these numbers I'm about to say if what I say relates to you. So type a one in the chat box if you have some design clients but you're too busy working with them to even worry about getting new clients for next month. If that sounds like you, hit a one and put it in the chat box. Hit two if you go from having too many client projects to not enough and want a consistent flow of clients that you have control over. Hit two if that sounds like you. And then put a three in there if you want more dream clients or even just one dream client who respects you, respects your work and your process. Hit three if that sounds like you. Now I'm saying these things because this is exactly what I went through last year. Um, there were times when I was booked so, so heavy just because I wasn't sure if I could get clients coming again. So I would way overbook myself. And then once I was done, I'd come out the other side and be like, well, crap, now where am I gonna go for these next people? Okay, I'm seeing lots of numbers in here. Ones, twos, threes. Some of you one, two, and three, awesome. Okay, and I also 
saw what it was like to not have dream clients. I was working with people I did not want to work with, but I was too afraid to turn them down to do anything about it. So I was stuck working with them and that's no fun either. We are gonna talk about what you can do to get rid of all of those awful feelings today. And a spoiler alert, it is totally possible for you guys as designers to get booked out three to six months in advance. And that's what we're going to talk about today, the strategy I use to do that as a developer. And as you guys know, designers, developers, we don't do the same thing, but our layout and structure of our business are very, very similar. So just let me know if you have any questions as we go through. But I am going to see if I can get some slides showing for you guys here. Be sure to get pen and paper ready because this is going to we're going to have a lot of really good stuff and you are not going to want to miss it. Let's see, turn screen share on. Screen. Let's see if I can make these bigger. And then once I get some confirmation from you guys, we will get going. <laughs> Amanda. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you guys are excited. This is going to be awesome. Seriously, so much stuff. Like if you don't have a pen and paper, open Evernote, open something that you can take notes with. Awesome. Looks good. So also, if you want, if you feel up to it, when you take these notes, throw them on Twitter, tweet it with Be Booked Out so Hallie and I can retweet, give you guys some love and attention on Twitter. You guys are going to have a lot of awesome notes. Also, just a reminder, we're going to have a Q&A at the end, but just so we can get through everything without distractions, I am going to wait until the end to answer questions, but don't let that stop you from dropping the questions in and asking them. Also, I have a super exclusive offer for you guys just on the webinar. No one else is hearing about this. Um, we'll go over that at the end after we get through all the good stuff here. So I want to stop for a second and talk to you about what it means to be booked out. <laughs> you guys are talking about tacos. <laughs> You're all awesome. Okay, so what it means to be booked out. First, you don't have to worry about where money is coming from next week. So you guys are probably in the boat I was in last year where I remember sitting there on a Monday wondering what I was gonna do to get clients for like that Wednesday. When you're not booked out, that's kind of what life looks like. Also, when you are booked out, you don't have to worry about taking care of your clients. You can focus on the clients you know, you're currently working through. Your other clients are going to be taken care of on autopilot. You're going to have systems set up. You know exactly what you need to do. Your current clients are going to be taken care of, and those waiting to work with you are going to be taken care of as well. Also, when you're booked out, you're going to have a wait list of people who are excited about working with you. And this might sound absolutely crazy about to some of you. Like, not only are you booked out months in advance, but you also have a wait list of people who are sitting and waiting to be able to work with you. This is what it's like to be booked out. But let's talk about what it looks like if you're not. First, you're going to worry, worry about where your next clients are coming from. And I'm sure you guys know what this feels like, wondering, OK, do I need to go hustle in Facebook groups? Am I going to get lucky and get a referral? Am I going to get even luckier and have someone like land on my website and relate to it and just happen to book me? That, you know, not knowing where your next clients are coming from is not a good feeling. When you're not booked out, you're also going to hit your income ceiling way, way, way too early. So I did this last year. I wasn't, I was taking way too many clients a month and I hit an income ceiling that I was not happy with. You know, I knew I couldn't take any more clients, but I needed a lot more income to live the life I want to live. You're also struggling to convert those consult calls. So not only is it a struggle to get people on your website who want to book a consult call in the first place, but after that, it's hard to convert them into actual clients. So we do not want to struggle with that anymore. You're also feeling lost in the sea of the same. So there are thousands of other designers out there. I am sure you've all been in the boat where someone posts in a Facebook group looking for a designer. And you know, within five minutes, there are 50 people who drop their links in there and you don't know how you are standing out from the rest of them. Clients, like when you're not booked out, you're also stuck taking clients who don't respect your time. So clients who want something, you know, a full website design for $200 by next Tuesday, you know, those people who don't understand the process, they don't respect it, they don't trust your judgment, judgment and as a designer, and they don't treat you the way you want to be treated by your clients. 
But let's talk about a happier now life after being booked out. So after you're booked out, you're going to double your income or more. So think of what you're making right now, double it, maybe even more right now. My income has been tripled what it was last year before I took be booked out. You are going to land those big name clients. So right now, I bet you can think of a few of those big names you really want to work with. You are going to get those kinds of people when you have a good marketing system in place. You have people talking you up. Your website is doing the work. You're going to land those big name clients you want to. Kind of a funny story. By the seventh week of Be Booked Out, I had landed a big name client who I had been like drooling over for months before I was even done with the course. I ended up working with her. Her name is Lexi D'Angelo. She's a coach. She's absolutely amazing. We actually just launched her website a couple of weeks or a couple of weeks ago, and I got her because of Be Booked Out. You're also going to be able to finally hire that dream team. So no more doing it by yourself. You can hire whoever you want to support your team. That way you can focus on what you are good at and other people can come in and do what they're good at. So right now I have video editors, podcast editors. I have a designer. I've worked with a copywriter. I have a VA. All of these people are letting me focus on development, what I do best. And after that, you can put it all on repeat. So you don't have to like reinvent the wheel every time you want new clients or every time you get a new client in the door. It's all going to be automated and doing its thing for you, which makes your life so much easier. So I want to, before we get into the six step process we're going to talk about, I want to talk about seven myths that are holding you back from growing your design business and turning it into what you can turn it into. So myth number one is that design services or any services in general aren't sustainable unless you're running an agency. So this is so not true. I know there are a lot of people are out there right now who are trying to convince us that we can just start with passive income and that our services are just kind of a waste of our time. This is so not true. For a passive income business to succeed, you need an audience. The best thing you can do is start with getting booked out with your services because you don't need a very big audience for that. When you're doing that, when you're deep in these services, you have time and, you know, the opportunity to build your own method that people are going to go crazy for and want to work with you for in the future. After that, you'll have the audience built up where you can go passive if you want to. Myth number two is that your services work independently of each other. And I thought this before taking me booked out, but it is so not true. When you do it right, your services work together perfectly. They're selling each other. Some, you know, someone will start with one service and then move on to another to keep working with you. When your services are right, it's not just going to be one off. People are going to be working with you several times and they're going to get the right service for them based on the multiple options you offer. It's also important here not to just copy and paste someone else's services. This is what I did way back when I thought I could design websites. I was totally looking at whatever other people, whatever other designers were offering and just trying to throw it in a sales page and hoping it would work. It does not work that way. Next myth is that you can build a business by yourself. So kind of what we just talked about earlier, you need other people who have your back. If you've been in business for any length of time, you've probably seen that relationships are absolutely everything. I know I wouldn't be where I am even close to it if I hadn't built the relationships I have. And when you have a team, a good team that you can trust and rely on, you'll be able to focus on what you're good at, design, while other people are focusing what they're good at in a way that will move your business forward. Our next myth is that people don't want to hear about your services anymore. And this is something else I totally thought before taking Be Booked Out, but odds are that you're not talking about your services nearly enough. I'm sure you've all heard that, you know, the marketing thing <laughs> that you need to get yourself in front of people seven times to get their attention. And that is so true. The more you talk about your services, the more excited people are going to get. And you are probably not doing it enough right now. You're not bothering people. If they're on your newsletter or in your Facebook group, they want to hear from you. They want to know what you have. So you need to tell them in the right way. Our next myth is that your client will be happy if you just do the work. And maybe you'll get lucky and some clients will think this way, but this is not how you stand out as a designer. I've worked with people, you know, contractors who just do the work and they don't stand out to me. 
even if they do a great job, I'm not getting that experience I want. So you as a designer need to make a client experience along with getting your client the actual results that you're promising them. That's how you can start charging more. That's what's going to make people start talking about what you do and referring you to other people and giving you amazing testimonials. Next, a really common myth is that you need a big list or to be in Facebook groups 24 seven to make decent money, which, you know, in our industry, 40 to 70K, that is decent money. So don't listen to the people who are talking about you have to make six figures to be successful. Heck no, you do not. And also you do not need a big list. Last year when I booked out my business in November, I had just switched my audience and I had less than 200 of my ideal clients on it when I get booked out. You can do that within a couple of weeks. You can build your list up to 200. You just have to know how to do it and you need to know how to convert those people into clients. And our last myth here is that people won't want to wait six months to work with you. And I am here to tell you, oh yes, they will. When you are booked out and people that want to work with you know that, it makes them even more excited. They know how good you are. They see that other people know how good you are and they just want their turn. The key here is that you need to know how to keep them happy while they're waiting. People will give you money now to work with you later. There are just a few things you need to keep in mind so they don't get bored or unhappy while they're waiting for you. So in case you hopped in a little late, I want to stop for just a second and introduce myself. I'm Krista from KristaRay.co. I offer WordPress development and website strategy services with designers. And I want to give you a little idea of what I went through last year. So before I took Be Booked Out, my business, I started my business in September 2015, if I'm remembering correctly, and I left my full-time job in April 2016. And after that, it was kind of scary. So I'll give you some little tips here, or I guess a look at what it was looking like. So from April till the time I started Be Booked Out, I was booking one to two days in advance. So that literally meant I was sitting at my computer on a Monday, finishing up a project and just hoping that I would land a project for Wednesday, even if it was just like $50 and a project I didn't want to work on at all. That's the kind of projects I was booking. I was taking way too many clients per month just to make sure I didn't have to go back to my corporate job. I was literally having nightmares about walking back through the doors of my corporate job. And because of that, I found myself taking 15 to 20 clients per month on projects I didn't even want to do just to make sure I could make ends meet and hit my minimum income goal, which was $1,200, not a whole lot. Very max, I was making $3,000 per month back then. That was when I got lucky and maybe like booked myself a couple weeks or landed one of my biggest packages seriously by luck. I would maybe hit $3,000 per month maximum. I had no idea how to keep my clients coming through the door. I didn't know how to keep them coming back. I didn't know where new ones would come from. I was just hoping that when I would go to my inbox one morning, I'd have an inquiry or two sitting there. It was seriously by luck at that point. And last, I didn't believe that number one, I could be booked out as a developer. I just didn't think it was possible with how quickly designers and developers go through clients. And I didn't think that my services could work together to sell themselves. I saw them as totally separate entities that, you know, someone would be interested in this one and someone else would be interested in this one. That is totally not how it is. So I will give you a little look at what it is like now after taking Be Booked Out. So since November of last year, I've been booked out three months or more in advance at all times. Right now I'm booking in the end of July. I'm taking one to two clients per month plus my retainer clients. So before I was literally taking 15 to 20 clients per month, I'm not exaggerating. Now I'm taking one to two clients per month and making a whole lot more money. So here's a little look at my chart. These months are kind of shifted funny, but right around here is where I was taking Be Booked Out. The seventh week of Be Booked Out, my income jumped to here regularly. And then this year it has skyrocketed, seriously triple what I was seeing some months. The, the bigger one you see right at the beginning was one of those months where I took way too many clients. I literally developed seven custom websites that month. So I was working literally 5 a.m. to midnight every single day to push out all these websites. Now I'm taking one client per month and making a whole lot more. 
I also know exactly how to keep my clients coming through the door. If say my three months of clients right now dried up, I know exactly what I need to do to get three months more of clients and I have all of the work already done. I just need to push a button to make it happen. And I also totally believe that I can be booked out as a developer and that my services can sell themselves because it's happening, I'm seeing it, it's amazing. So I want to talk to you a little bit about this hustle structure that we tend to go in. This is probably what you're doing now. So right now you're probably finding yourself deep in the work of clients. You're in there, you're working, you're doing your best, you're trying to keep them happy but then you come out the other side and you have no clients. So you need to do all the hustle, put in all the work to get some more clients back in the door, and then you do it all again. And let me tell you, hustling is overrated. It leads to burnout. It is not as glamorous as everyone makes it look for some reason. There's nothing about having to hustle. So really this kind of structure makes you do a lot of work and see very, very little results. So this is not what we want, but there is a better way to hustle. You can do a launch, you'll then have three to 12 months worth of clients and all you have to worry about is doing the work. Once you see that, hey, in about three months, I'm not gonna be booked out anymore, you just launch again. And since you've already done it once, it is so much easier the next time. So this is what I'm doing right now. This is what you can also do in your design business, but you just need a method to make it actually work. So that is what we're gonna talk about, the six step framework to being booked out. So if you do not have um, your notes yet, if you don't have a pen and paper, if you don't have Evernote open, you need to get it right now because we're going to go through this framework you've been waiting for. So step one, you need to make your desirable money makers. So when we are just starting out or we're not quite sure how to market ourselves, we tend to make stuff for ourselves. So what sounds good to us? What do we think we could sell? But this is not how it works. You need to make it for someone else. So who was your ideal client? What exactly do they want? You need to make profitable packages that sell each other and really attract your ideal clients and also get them results. So if you're here because you wanna make a whole bunch of money and don't really care about the results, you're in the wrong place. You need to be focused on getting results because that's what's gonna make being booked out happen when people start talking about you. Our next step is getting your website to serve as your 24 seven salesperson. Your website is absolutely the best tool you have. Your website is never gonna be late, it's never gonna quit, it's never gonna forget a task you assigned to it. It's gonna sell for you constantly if you have it set up right, even if you're sleeping or on vacation. So right now I'm guessing you're a lot like I was last year and it's either trying to sell too soon or it's not selling the right way. So really if it's not right it if it is right it is going to sell for you all the time so i wake up in the morning and i have inquiries lots of you know a lot of the time if i go on vacation it's not rare for me to come back after a week away and have inquiries in my inbox that's just how it works you need the best information on your website structured in the best way possible to turn these strangers into clients next you need all eyes on you so this is where you grab everyone's attention if you are strategic in your in your content, you'll be able to show people how you can change their lives and really grab their attention. Now, this is hard to see when you're kind of in your own business, but there is there are two types of content. There's growth content and launching content. So I'm guessing what a lot of you are focusing on is the growth content. So this is content you have all the time on your website, 24 seven, and it just kind of brings people into your website and turns them from strangers, maybe to subscribers. The goal is definitely strangers to subscribers. That's what you need to be doing, but that might be where part of your process is breaking down. After that is the launch content, and that turns people from strangers or subscribers into clients, and that's what we want. So you have your growth content to bring them in the door, you know, get them familiar with you, and then your launch content to make you money. Next, you have network hacking. So this is where you get even more eyes on you, more eyes on your content. You can only grow so much by yourself, and this is kind of what we were talking about earlier with how important relationships are. If you don't have relationships with people, you can only grow as much as you are putting in the work. You constantly have to be growing your audience, running ads, doing all this stuff to get new people in the door. 
to really explode your audience, you need to tap into audiences that have already been built by other people. So whether you're doing guest posts, other types of collaborations, you always need to be growing your audience through other people. And next, you need to craft a client experience. So remember earlier, your clients want more than, you know, you to do the work. They want an experience. So first, start by figuring out where your clients are struggling and create content to help them. So as designers, your struggles are probably with scope creep, not replying when they need to, not getting content to you on time, or they don't know how to give you the feedback you want. So identify those struggles. As you're working through a client project you have right now, sit you know, and kind of note those struggles or think back to a past client project and write down what struggles you had. Then make content that will help people overcome those struggles. So whether it's writing blog posts, making videos, maybe making them really simple mini courses that you have on your website, help them help you. Help them make your life easier. Teach them what they need to know to be good clients. And then from there, you need to take the lead in your client relationships. You're the expert. They want you to lead. That's why they came to you. So your clients are going to love and respect you even more when you're taking charge, leading them through and getting things done the right way. And then there's also the fun part of throwing in little extra, you know, things that will make them excited at certain parts of your process. And then it's time to get new clients on autopilot. So after all of this, you are finally ready to get them coming in constantly. So this means without you doing any extra work, they are still coming in. So this is happening through word of mouth that you'll get from all the things we talked about before through awesome experiences you gave other clients. They're going to start talking to you. You're going to get new clients through word of mouth. You'll have your wait list constantly filling up. So you always have that to pull from. That way, if someone does have to stop working with you, you have backup. You have someone you can go to to fill that spot or, you know, put in at the end of the period that you're booked out at. These people will wait for you. You just need to be good at what you do and market yourself in a way that shows off how amazing you are and how you're different. So I bet you're wondering, OK, that sounds awesome. How in the heck do I do that, right? So this first option, there are two things you can do. This is what I did for a long time. You can keep reading and researching and experimenting until you find a method that finally gets you booked out. I did this for a year and a half and oh, it was a lot of work and I did not see a whole lot of results. Or you can take the second path. You can streamline your success by using the method that's gotten other designers, developers and side hustlers booked solid, including myself. So the answer is be booked out. I'm so excited to talk to you guys about this today. Be booked out is an eight week program that teaches you how to market yourself to get booked out six months in advance with clients. So this is the exact eight week program I use to get booked out along with a whole lot of other people. And this is where you'll learn how to put everything we talked about today into place. So we're going to go through what is in each of the eight weeks here. In week one, we talk about your business's best friend who makes selling a breeze. So this is who you who you do everything for, what your who your website is targeted towards, who your services are for, who your content is for. When you know who this person is, selling is so much easier. Week two, we're going to talk about making profitable packages. So these are the packages we talked about earlier that sell themselves. And this also includes pricing and sales pages. So no more undervaluing yourself. And you'll also get an exact sales page formula. This was actually my favorite part of the course. You get an exact formula to use to make your sales page. All you have to do then is slap it on your website. Week three is making your website into a 24 seven salesperson. So you'll learn exactly what you need on all of the main pages of your website to make clients come in the door as you're sleeping or on vacation or whatever it is you're doing. No big you know, issues and you don't have to run into Facebook groups all the time to get these clients. Week four, we talk about launching your services to turn strangers into clients. So everything you need to know to launch your services to get booked months in advance. This includes the exact blog posts you need to write, the newsletters, the social media posts. This is absolutely incredible and so, so, so valuable. Week five is all about growing your audience on autopilot with killer thoughts. So you guys, you have unique thoughts that make you stand apart from all the other designers out there. 
And you can use that to grow your audience. You can use that to draw people in who think the same way as you, who, you know, like what you're saying that stands out from everyone else. Week five is all about how to grow your audience with that. Week six is about growing your list by making amazing friends. So this that network hacking we talked about earlier. How can you grow your list by leaps and bounds through the connections you have without being sleazy about it? Week seven is about wildfire word of mouth and increasing your profit per client. So how can you make more money with each person you bring through the door? It is so easy once you know how to make them want to tell everybody about you. And week eight is about filling up your wait list and always being booked out. So what you need to do to get people signed up literally to wait to work with you so you always have new clients to pull from. So here is what you get with Be Booked Out. You get eight weeks of workbooks, templates, strategies, and checklists. And this stuff is no joke, you guys. If you think you can just come in here and scan through you know, a workbook or two and see results, that not, that's not how this is. You will be using all of the tools that are provided and they are amazing. So I already told you there's a sales page template seriously the best. You also know exactly what you need to do for your launches. There's checklists so you don't miss anything. Everything you need is in here. You also get 12 months access to the Facebook community for um, seriously any questions you have. This community is perfect. It's people who have done it before, people who are going through it with you. You'll never ask a question and have it go unanswered. This is like no other Facebook group I've been a part of. Everyone is so helpful and so knowledgeable and so, so smart. You'll also get eight live masterclass calls to accelerate your progress. So this is Hallie will go live in the Facebook group every single week to go through that con that week's content. She'll ask all our questions. Seriously, I've seen her stay on for so much longer than an hour just to make sure that no one leaves with a question that goes unanswered. You'll also get lifetime access to the program materials. So if you ever find yourself you know, needing to review or you're not booked out anymore, you can always go back and do it, go through it again. Seriously, all of this stuff is absolutely amazing. All of the checklists, the Facebook group, everything you've heard about is absolutely incredible. So this is all worth $5,397 altogether. But of course I went past that slide. We have a special price just for webinar people for $2,000. And you can head over to bebookedout.com slash Krista Ray to grab that offer. I'm gonna see if I can pop it up here for you guys. Let me know if you don't see it, but I'm not done yet. We have some bonuses for you. So I'm going to go through them all here. First, you have the five figure group coaching program. This is about if you want to try, you know, doing something other than one on one services, you can learn how to create your own group coaching program to bring in five figures. You'll also get the put a ring on it proposal guide. And seriously, you can lock it in when you need to land those proposals. There's no more losing leads with this bonus. Next is non-douchey consult call kit. You'll make sure that your consult calls pay off and that both you and your potential clients feel great afterwards. You don't have to feel like gross about what just happened. Both you and your client will feel excited. Next is fill up your waitlist secret guidebook. So here you'll make sure your waitlist fills out and stays warm. So you'll get specific templates and scripts you can use in addition to what's already in the course. And here's a bonus I'm throwing in my workbook and ebook combo design your own pixel perfect production. And this shows you how to design websites that actually get your clients results and how to make those results funnel right back into your own business to keep the clients coming in. So with all of these bonuses, the total comes to $6,044, but you are getting it for just 2,000 from this webinar. So you can head over to bebookedout.com slash Krista Ray to grab it. So here's everything listed out, all of the program materials, the eight hour, the eight hour long live calls, the Facebook group access and all of your bonuses comes to $6,044, but you're getting it for 66% off. There's also a webinar only payment plan to make this even easier. So this is only for people on the webinar, but 
Seriously, with this payment plan, the course is going to pay for itself before you even have to worry about that final payment. For me, I was booked out by week seven. The course had totally paid for itself several times over by that point. So if you want kind of a more affordable option right now, you can go ahead and jump in with this payment plan, $1.99 a month for 12 months. So all of this is only $6.33 a day for months of clients. So seriously, skip, skip, skip Starbucks, skip, you know, like the stuff you grab on your way out of Target, skip that for a couple of days and you are good to go. But if you order in the next 15 minutes or grab your spot in the next 15 minutes, we have something else for you too. So first from Hallie, you're gonna get the perfect hourly rate. So you'll learn, my printers, I hope you guys can hear that. <laughs> you'll learn exactly what your hourly rate should be. So there's gonna be no more lowballing yourself and undervaluing the amazing work you do. And then I am throwing in a spot to my three-day workshop that's coming up in May, Elevate Your Website for Strategic Design Clients. So this is a three-day event where you're going to learn everything you need to know about how to land clients you actually want to work with through your website. So by when I say clients you actually want to work with, these are clients who value the strategy behind the website. So those of you who want to get your clients results through your designs, we're going to talk about how you can land them in this workshop. So all of that, all of these, all of the bonuses, all the course material and these bonuses that are available for the next 15 minutes come to $6,338, but you guys can grab it for 2000 today. So what happens once you decide to jump in, you click that button, you can choose your payment plan. So you can either be, um, pay in full right now, $2,000, or you can get in on the special webinar payment plan, $199 for 12 months. After that, you'll be taken to the checkout. Just fill out your information and hit the complete button and you'll create your Thinkific account. And then after that, you're all set. You can come and join us in the Facebook group, which you will love. The first live call and all of your bonuses will be delivered on May 24th. Um, my workshop, if you order in the next 15 minutes, that is actually starting on May 15th. So you'll hear from me before then about that, but everything else kicks off on May 24th. So you guys, I cannot tell you enough about how beneficial this all of this stuff is. Like seriously, I never thought if you would have come to me at this time last year and told me I could be booked out months in advance, I probably would have just told you you were crazy. At that time, I was booking a couple of days in advance. Actually, at that time, I might have been, oh no, I was just done working my corporate job. And seriously, I would have thought you were crazy. So if you want to stop working with people you don't want to work with, stop taking way too many clients per month who aren't paying you enough, you are going to absolutely love this. So you have 15 minutes to jump in on those fast action bonuses and um, get the uh, my workshop and the perfect hourly rate ebook. Um, but let me know if you have any questions. I can go ahead and take questions now. I also want to let you know that I'm a student leader in this round, so I'll be in there helping you guys as designers. I can relate to what you're going through. I can help you out, walk you all through it because I just went through it. So I will also be in there. So I am going to see if I can stop screen sharing so I can answer your questions. All right, so let me scroll through here and see if I missed any questions. Let's see. If you have any questions about the content, my journey, um, be booked out, just let me know that I can answer all of that stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys are funny in here. <laughs> Gifts happen. <laughs> Open the gates. Oh my gosh, you guys are hilarious. Networking sets my teeth on edge because it's what I did for years. And as an introvert, because it was exhausting, are there notes on networking without the exertion? Seriously, Amanda, I am one of the most introverted people you'll meet. You might not know it right now because I've somehow gotten decent at live streaming, but I literally used to hunt, hide under the table when my family would come over. Like that's how bad it is. And these networking tactics that you'll learn are not bad. You're going to be totally fine with it. And you also need to learn to push yourself. So you'll do that too. Who's joining me? Looks like I'm in, can't find my card. Okay, I am so, so, so excited. PayPal won't work. Hallie, can you uh, check that out? I'm sure she'll get it fixed up. Don't worry about that. Um, if something's not working, you'll still 
get the bonuses, so don't worry about that. But it looks like a couple other people were able to get in, so you might want to give it another shot. I'm not seeing any questions of you guys. Come on, I couldn't have been that good. You got to have some questions for me here. How many hours did you spend on the coursework each week? Very, very good question. So it kind of varied. I always set aside at least three hours for it. This is not a course where you can go through and like read a few things and like poof, there's results. If you want the results, you have to put in the work. So there, there might be a week or two where you're putting in one to two hours of work. There might be some where you're doing more like five, but I always set aside around an average of three. And then there's also the live calls every Wednesday. Those usually last about an hour. Don't include that in your three hours. There's an extra hour you'll want to set aside, but those are so valuable. Hallie answers any and all questions you have. If there's ever a time you can't make a live call, she always posts that morning and asks for people to list their questions if they won't be able to be at the call just to make sure that nothing is missed. So very good question. <laughs> it's my inner Lisa Simpson that's going, yay, homework. <laughs> love it. Seriously, I, I kind of did love the homework part of it. I was a nerd in school and just loved homework as it was. So this is kind of like a fun little flashback. <laughs> Sorry for those of you that don't like homework. It's at least homework that actually matters, unlike school, right? At least you can get booked out with this kind of homework. So I don't want to jump off too soon in case anyone has questions here. Um, I guess I'll just for a second talk about like the difference in the quality of clients I was getting, because that's something I didn't touch on too much during the webinar. Uh, but last year before I took Be Booked Out, I was working with clients that, not that I couldn't stand them as people, I couldn't stand the projects they were giving me. So they wanted something for $50 done tomorrow because I just apparently sit there all day and click buttons and do magic in no time for basically for free. Like those were the kinds of clients I was getting and that's why I was needing to take like 15 or 20 a month to make what I needed to be making. It was terrifying. Now I'm working with clients who I have to take one a month to hit way more money than I was before. And they're the clients that value the work I do. They totally understand when I say, okay, your project is gonna take four weeks. They're like, great. They get the revision process. They're willing to work with me. They hit their deadlines. It's the exact projects I wanna be working on and the exact people I wanna be working with. So you will seriously see this and be booked out because the first week you will focus on finding what that person looks like. Didn't get a link in my email and missed you. Basically the whole webinar. Will it be a replay? Definitely, there will be a replay. I believe it's gonna be available for 48 hours and it should come out shortly after I'm done here. I'm not seeing any more questions, so I can go ahead and sign off here. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, learned a few things, are excited about booking out your business, and I really hope to see you inside the course. Again, I'm going to be there as a student leader, helping you through, helping answer your questions. Um, if you have anything you know, specific about your design business, I'll be there to help you and pull you through if you get stuck or you know, you're just like in your own head and can't see the way around. It's going to be awesome. Amanda says, oh, wait, OK, <laughs> I'm waiting in all capital letters except your one at the end. <laughs> I am waiting. When are the live classes? So the live classes, if I'm remembering correctly, I actually think this is on the sales page, but they are Wednesdays at, I believe, actually, I think this time, I think they start at 7 Eastern. Let me do a double check for you. Every week for eight weeks at 7 p.m. Eastern on Wednesdays. And this starts, um, the course starts on May 24th. Um, and if you can't make it live, it's really not a big deal. You'll be able to, you can submit all your questions ahead of time and then watch it afterwards. The, the videos stay up throughout the whole eight weeks and you can always go on and ask your questions afterwards, even if you have to. There's already always someone there to help you out and get you the answers you're looking for. Um, something else you might want to know is that it's delivered weekly. So you're not going to like get it all thrown at you at once because seriously, you, you would get overwhelmed. It's delivered week by week. So week one, you'll get the week one content. You'll be able to work through that before even having to worry about what's coming in week two. There are also times if it's a bigger module, you might see that part of it is released, you know, at the beginning of the week and part of it comes later just to help you um, work through everything without work through everything without getting overwhelmed and getting in your own head. In order to be booked out, do we need to pick one ideal client? 
how narrow of a niche we need. I love working with a variety of clients. Now, Hallie might be able to answer this better. For the best results, you want to pick one person. And I know this is hard. At first, I was like, I seriously can't do this. But it is for the best. If you have multiple people you're targeting, you're not talking to any of those people. Like your content isn't going to speak to any of them. So at least to start, you will be picking one person. You'll be marketing towards that person. If it doesn't end up being the right person or you end up wanting to experiment down the road, you can. But at least you'll have the framework in place um, to be booked out again if you have to, you know, pull it back and just focus on that one person again. But that is what we focus on on week one. You don't have to worry about figuring that out right now. We walk through that, we work through it. It's tough, but it is good and you need to do it. It is so, so, so beneficial. Amanda, are they on Web Webinar Jam or Facebook Live? They're on Facebook Live, which is so nice. It's right in our community. All the replays are right there all the time. We can all interact with each other. We can talk to Hallie. She answers our questions in real time. So it is really great. What should we be working on before the actual course starts? Like having our businesses set up, name, logo. Yeah, if you can get your website running, if you can get the name of your business, the logo, everything. If you can have your website up, that is what you need to start. If you want to work ahead, you can get your email marketing platform picked out and things like that. Um, but a website is definitely necessary. Amanda's success. Yes, this is going to be so awesome. I'm so glad you're in there. Allie, I'm new to the freelance design scene and my portfolio is limited. What's your advice on building a portfolio of the kind of work you want to do? So if you have, don't show off work in your portfolio that isn't what you want to do, because that's just going to confuse people. Um, that actually got me in trouble in the middle of last year. I switched my audience, but I didn't want to empty my portfolio. So I kept other pieces on there that I worked on before, but I kept getting those people because that's the work I showed off. That's what they thought I did. It wasn't their fault. It was totally my fault. So first narrow down what you already have just to show the work you want to do. Um, as a designer, you can also do like make your own um, like brands you're doing work for and show that in your website. You want to be really clear that this is just a sample. You don't want to be misleading about that, um, but that will help you um, show people what you're capable of. And you can also, if you want to, um, offer like introductory rates, but I don't think you'll need to do that with Be Booked Out. So I would suggest just um, making some brands for yourself if you need to, making some websites if you need to for yourself to show off what you can do, and then Be Booked Out will help you do the rest of the work. I hope that was helpful. Sometimes I just start talking. <laughs> good, good, good questions, you guys. So let's see here, anything else? I'm so excited to see that I will see so many of you in there and be able to work through it with you. We have Amanda, I see Kelly. Awesome. This is going to be so fun. Okay. I think I'm going to hop off for real this time, unless I see a new question pop in a couple of seconds. I'm so bad at just like killing time and waiting for things, but you guys have asked awesome questions. This has been so much fun. And I cannot wait to see some of you in there. There's one. <laughs> I'm wanting to get a new website anyway, which means transferring my emails and such. Should I just start there? Yeah, if you're planning on rebranding and moving stuff to a new website, definitely get that out of the way so you don't have to worry about it while going through Be Booked Out. Um, in, I don't remember what week it was off the top of my head, but in the week where we're making your website a 24 seven salesperson, you will be tweaking it, but you won't be completely redoing it. So if you're rebranding or doing whatever you need to do, and you can get that done ahead of time, definitely do that. In the part of the UK I'm, where I live, we have a phrase, if I'm really excited, that is, I'm proper buzzing. I've never heard that. I kind of want to hear you say that out loud because I think that would be funny. We'll have, to, we'll have to organize that sometime. Wait, JK, I'll watch the replay. <laughs> okay, if you're sure. Um, if you have any other questions, you can always email me, chris.chrisdray.co. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But for now, have an amazing evening. Uh, for those of you in other parts of the world, have a good whatever it is that it's going to be soon. And I hope to see you inside Be Booked Out. It is amazing.